waiting until the next year to actually start making changes in your life is like waiting until the very day of a major exam to start studying. Yeah, we're not doing that over here. The ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. Hey y'all, what is up? My name is Joy Alia and I hope that you all are having a lovely day. First things first, happy Motivational Monday with Joy. Can't forget the with Joy. So, today we're gonna be talking about how we need to start leveling up our life right now and not waiting until 2020 to do so. Let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all, I am so excited to talk about this because I know a lot of us are guilty of waiting until the next year to start making changes when we really need to start right now. Waiting until the next year to actually start making changes in your life is like waiting until the very day of a major exam to start studying. Yeah, we're not doing that over here. So first thing we're gonna do, start acting on your goals right now. Grab your notebook, grab your pen, grab your pencil. Start writing. Okay. So let's say that one of our goals is we're going to go to the gym more. Start on that right now. Because for starters, the gym is going to be very busy come January. Because everyone's trying to get their body right. You know what I'm saying? So start right now. Say you're going to go to the gym three to five times per week and stick to that now. So let's say for the next few weeks, you're in the gym at least three times per week. By the time January comes around, your body's already going to be used to working out. So you're going to be ready to like advance come January. So if we're in the gym, just doing light cardio here, I'm more so speaking for the people who are trying to get their foot in the gym, not really people who are already in the gym. So say look, right now we're just doing cardio. Come January, we can start lift, weightlifting, you know? We can start building the, the curves, getting our body looking how we really want it to look. Basically what we want to do, we want to treat the remainder of December as the warm-up. We are warming up our bodies right now. We are warming up our minds right now for the new year, the new year of 2020. We are not just entering a new year, but we are entering a new decade. So we need to come correct. Number two, start waking up earlier. Start waking up earlier. We hear it all the time. Now it's time to really do it. Start waking up earlier. If you're one of those people who, if you don't need to wake up on time, you're here sleeping in until 2 3 p.m then say for the remainder of the year i'm going to try to wake up a couple hours earlier if you're someone who naturally wakes up around nine say i'm going to try to wake up an hour to two hours earlier start taking baby steps until you reach the goal time that you want to wake up so for me i think i want to be well honestly i'm i'm good with where i'm at right now right now i'm waking up anywhere from about 7 to 7.30 on average. No, I scratched that. I'm not good where I'm at, okay? I, sometimes I do struggle to wake up at that time. Sometimes I have to give myself a whole pep talk. In fact, sometimes I'm so close to going back to sleep. And then I think to myself, I'm like, oh, Joy, if you get up right now, then you'll have more time to do X, Y, and Z. So... I eventually get up so I can do better I'm gonna start making it more of a routine for me to wake up around 7 maybe even more like 6 30 6 45 I feel like that's really the time I would prefer to wake up on weekdays when I wake up earlier I just have so much more time to just do things that I need to do and three use social media more wisely I've been seeing this, hearing this dialogue go around. Instead of people saying, you know, just get off of social media, instead people are saying use social media more intentionally. Follow people who inspire you. If you are 
trying to get your body right, you're trying to get in the gym, you're trying to eat healthier, follow people who <laughs> are eating healthier. You know, if you want to transition into um, being a vegan, you need to be following people on social media who are vegans, not browsing hamburgers. <laughs> Why did I say hamburgers of all things? But yes, use social media more intentionally. Follow people who are inspiring you to align with the person that you want to be. And lastly, four, check yourself. Mm -hmm. Check yourself. Check your attitude. Check your personality. Check your behavior. Because baby, you could be holding yourself back from your blessings. Yeah, let's go there, let's go there. It could be your personality, it could be your behavior, it could be how you interact with people on a daily basis that could be blocking your blessings. A whole blessing could be right in front of you, but because you're not being open to it, because your, your demeanor you know, is not inviting people in, you could possibly be throwing these blessings away from you that are right in front of you. So with that being said, thank y'all so much for watching. And I want you all to have a lovely day, y'all. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.